Hey everyone, it's Insco here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I made my song Say My Name that came out on Friday. If for whatever reason you haven't already checked out the song, I'd recommend checking it out before you watch this video. There's links in the description for that. It's available on all platforms, including this YouTube channel. I'm really trying to push it on Spotify though. So if you have Spotify, listen to it on that because that helps me the most. So this right here is the project for Say My Name. It's a pretty big project. I worked on it for a good amount of months, but I think I actually started this song in like September. September last year and finished it in December. The first thing I have is this piano. which is just playing these chords here, nothing too special. Then we have this guitar loop that I made, which I think was just a serum preset, but I actually rendered it out as an audio file. Actually, this muted pattern right here is the audio. It's from Contact. It's two things laid on top of each other. It's this free, like, mute and slap guitar, which is just like a really plucky and not so tonal guitar. And this one, which is just a solo guitar. And as you can hear, it's drowned in reverb. Then there's this pad, which kind of acts like a bass at the same time because it has a little low end. I think that definitely fills up space in that intro. Then there's a re-space and sub-bass. Then I added this violin that's just playing the top notes of each chord. And then the final thing in the intro is this acoustic guitar, which goes throughout most of the song. I'll explain how I made it during the build up section, but this is what it sounds like here. I tell a lie, that isn't the final thing. We also have the vocal chops as well. which are obviously taken straight from the drop, but then I used them all muffled in the intro. I also forgot these in the intro as well. There's this ambient pad playing. And then also this other pad that I made by adding pink noise to the vocal. So obviously the first thing we have in the verse is the vocal. Nothing too special happening with that, but obviously there's a delayed pitch vocal happening in the background, which I do in like all of my songs. Then there's the piano, which is basically the same thing from the intro, but for some reason I rendered it as an audio file. I'm not too sure why I did that, but I did. Then there's the same pad that's in the intro, so I'm not going to play that. Then in the verse, I introduced this like rain ambient sound. As you can hear, it's fairly muffled, but it's just there to fill a little bit of space. And that's everything in the first section of the verse, but the second section, when the drums come in, there's more stuff. So there was this vocal harmony that comes in that sounds like this. Even though you play these games. Which I think sounds so weird by itself. It does not sound right at all, but it's in the background and it does help. Then I carried on with my delayed pitch vocal thing. Then to make it a little bit more dramatic and to fill up a little bit more space, I added a bit of violin. I'm pretty sure it's like the same thing from the intro. Yeah, it's playing the top notes, but this time it's kind of played a bit more realistically. So the notes kind of go on for longer and they're played at different velocities. Then there's the piano again, which is the same sound in piano, but this time I actually added a C on top of every single chord. Then we have that same guitar from the intro, which is that plucky guitar, which I said I used with two contact libraries. Then there's the pad that's carrying on, but now I've added a really strong sub and re space.
And then that acoustic guitar from the intro has come back again, but this time it's not muffled. I also done this weird transition sound effect to go between like the first half of the verse and the second half where the drums came in. And then now if we take a look at the drums, I'll play them all together and then I'll show you what they are separately. There's this muffled kick, then these two muffled snares, but then on every other snare, it's layered with another two snares. I know that sounded really complicated, but hopefully you understood that. And then we have this percussion loop, which the whole song is just run off the rhythm of that. Like the drop, this percussion loop is like everything in that drop. Obviously, I'll speak more about it later, but yeah, it's a great percussion loop. And whenever there's drums in this song, that percussion loop is in the background. Next up is the build up slash break thing bit where it goes all like ambient and it's not quite where the drums come in i don't really know what to call it but let's look at that if you love me, say my name. first up we have the vocals so let's take a look at those if you love me, say my name. No more time for pretend. right so i'm really quickly gonna run for the vocals we have the main vocal and then this pitch down vocal then there's the vocal harmony, which was playing before, but this time it sounds like this. If you love me, say my name. Sounds less weird than it did in the verse, so that's a good thing. And then there's this low vocal, which I ended up muting, so there's no point even showing that, really. Then there's the pitch delay vocals, which are obviously carrying on like before. And then finally, I'm going to count this as a vocal, but it's the vocal pad that was playing in the intro. But the reason it's so important in this build-up is because this section here fills up the gap so much. Now let's take a look at the proper bit of the build-up. The first thing that's here is this pitched vocal. Then there's this new piano, which sounds like this. As you can see and here it's just playing in a different rhythm then there's this arp but it only comes in on the second half but it sounds like this i really like that then there's the pad again which has basically been playing the whole time then some strings which is just made up of cello viola violin double bass and another violin And as you can see, I've done a little bit of automation to try and make it more like glide and sound more real. I mean, it kind of worked. Then there's the vocal pad thing again. Then we have the guitar, which I am so, so happy with. That guitar isn't real. I actually fully made that in a plugin called AGML. This is the plugin here. I'm using the light version, which is completely free. And there's this mode called strummer. And what you can do is choose different chords. And what I did was I chose the chords of the song and then recorded it as like an audio file and just put it in. So yeah, somehow I've basically made a really guitar influenced song without having real guitar in it. The next thing to show is the drums. I'll play it all and then I'll go through it briefly. It's nothing even that fancy. It's quite simple, to be honest. The main thing is these claps here, which is just layered with three claps. They have a lot of reverb on it, as you can tell. And I also done this reverse clap. So on the main bit where all the snares come in, you have the claps carrying on playing. You have the kicks. You have these backing snares. Then these main snares.
than these other kind of back-in snares, but they're kind of main snares at the same time. They kind of just help layer the main snares. Then I had this like back in percussion that I did a bit of delay onto. And here we have the pitch automation, which is basically affecting like all of the drums in the build up so that as it's getting quicker, it's going higher up in pitch. Then there's the sub bass and respace. And I actually forgot there's these other percussion loops in the background as well on the build up when the drums come in properly. And that consists of this tambourine loop, this other cymbal loop, this cinematic drums loop, and then of course the percussion loop, which I said earlier is basically in every section of the song that has drums. So now let's move on to the best bit of the song, the drop. The first thing on the list is the vocal chops, which are probably the most interesting bit. I kind of cut up the vocal to follow the same melody in the song, but this is what the vocal chops are sounding like together. Really isn't anything too special, has a lot of reverb on it, isn't mega distorted either, it's kind of more saturated than distorted. Then there's this electric guitar, which was in this pattern, but I exported it as an audio file. This, this plays the same melody that the vocals chop play, so it really does help layer that. This drop has a lot of guitar in it, and I thought that this electric guitar would really help fill it up. And as you can hear, it's not a real electric guitar, it's made in contact, but I tried to make it as real as I possibly could. The next thing is the vocal pad that was playing throughout the rest of the song, so I'm not going to play that. Then there's the acoustic guitar, which is in a slightly different rhythm from the build up. I'm really happy with how that sounds. It really fits the whole rhythm of the drop. And as you can see, I have these audio files down here. What these are are just basically slaps on the guitar. Next, we have one of the other ambient pads that I've been playing throughout the whole song, but as you can see, it's kind of cut up a little bit. That just follows the same rhythm as what the chords do, which I'll get into in a minute. Next is the drums, which again, I'm going to play all at once and then go for it after. So there's the kick, which is a pretty aggressive kick. Next is that percussion loop, which I mentioned before, really, really fits in this song. Then there's this clap loop, which I use in all of my songs. Then there's these odd percussion sounds, which I think are like toms. They kind of just play randomly. Then there's the snares, which as you can see is very full up. I play them all individually and then I play them all together. This is the first one, second one, third one fourth one and finally the fifth one is a ride so it's not actually even a snare so four snares not five snares but there's a ride that layers the snares then there's the reverse reverb snare as well so now let's take a look at the chords this is what they're sounding like by themselves This is what they look like. It's layered a few times. Yeah, like two times properly and then two top layers. And there's a little bit of automation for the reverb as well, just to kind of keep it under control. Then there's the sub bass, re-space and mid bass. Then I added one thing that I don't normally keep in the drop, the pad. It's a different sounding pad and it's really soft and it doesn't really fit, but it does layer the chords quite nicely so it works. Then finally, there's these brass sounds. But that's all the drop is, so let's take a look at the second verse. I'm pausing the video for two seconds just to say that I did actually record me going through the second half of the song, but a lot of it was the same, so it kind of just makes more sense for me to end the video here. 
But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I made my song say my name. It's available right now on all streaming platforms. I'm really, really trying to see if I can reach 1,000 streams on the song. Because I'm not signed to a record label or anything this year, and all of the promotion that I'm doing on a song is coming straight out of my own money. And because of Corona, I don't have a job. So I haven't got a lot of money. So I'm trying my best to like promote it through my social media, from my YouTube, and everything like that. And with your help, if you like the song, then maybe we could get to 1K. That'd be really cool. But as a link in the description to check it out on all of the platforms this song i am really proud of but i gotta say there's another song that i've been working on the past like two weeks and you're not ready you're actually just not ready for this new song i don't even want to talk about it because i know i'm gonna say too much but anyway thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it remember to hit that like button subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already because i upload new music related content every single monday at 7 p.m gmt but my name is Insco. hopefully i'll see you for the next video and i hope you enjoy the rest of your week.